How the hell are you supposed to add storage to these things? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we're talking about adding storage to that USB-C MacBook. There's a few ways to do it, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and check out our other upcoming tips and tricks. Long gone are the days Apple had a MacBook that could easily be opened up with parts that were replaceable using off-the-shelf components. If you were hoping that you could replace your SSD after you bought your new notebook, you're in for a surprise. It's just not possible with the newest MacBooks. The fine folks at iFixit.com opened up the new notebook so you can see exactly what we're talking about. I love when they do that. We'll add a link to their teardown in the description below. Now that upgrading internal storage is off the table, what options do you have? The first is to use what you already have. Here we've put one of our SSDs in an external enclosure and simply added a USB-C adapter. These should work with just about anything you already have. We picked up a pair of adapters for less than $10, and now you don't have to buy a whole new portable drive. Excellent. There are other adapters on the market that have longer cables, but we like this style because you can keep it attached to your existing cables so they don't get lost as easily. As a bonus, if you go between an older system and your new MacBook, you can simply remove the adapter and still use the same hardware. If you just need a bit of extra storage, you might want to give flash drives a try. Yes. I know, you probably have a few sitting at the bottom of a backpack, but my guess is they're most likely not USB-C. The good news is now you can get USB-C flash drives that can store anywhere from a few gigs to over 100 gigs. We have one here that holds 128 gigabytes and as a bonus, also works with your old USB devices because it has two connectors. Love it. The last option we'll mention is wireless. Apple is really pushing for a cordless world, so this makes sense. Some manufacturers already make external hard drives you can connect to via Wi-Fi. The cost difference between a wire drive and a wireless drive of the same capacity could be steep, so keep that in mind. There are also devices like Kingston's Mobileite Wireless that allow you to access a wire drive via Wi-Fi. So if you already have an external drive you like and don't want to see a bunch of cables connected to your shiny new notebook, this may be a great option for you. So what's your preferred type of secondary storage? Let us know in the comments. And while we're talking storage in MacBooks, want to see how to add flash storage to an older MacBook? Check out this video. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and thank you for watching DIY in 5.